Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to be going over the Irrational Conjugates Theorem and we're going to answer two questions related to it. Uh, so let's let f represent some polynomial function with rational coefficients. Let a and b be rational numbers such that root b is irrational. If a plus root b is a zero of function f, then a minus root b is also a zero of function f as well. Okay. So how can we use this information to answer one of our classic Algebra 2 questions like example 1 here? Uh, give a polynomial with the lowest possible degree with roots 3 and 1 plus root 5. Well, since 1 plus root 5 is a 0 of f, our polynomial, that means 1 minus root 5 is also a root, right? So 1 minus root 5 is also a root. And keep in mind that we don't have to do this with 3 because 3 is not irrational, right? It doesn't fit this format, the a plus root b, because it says specifically here that root b, or that b itself, although b must be rational, root b must be irrational. And so that eliminates uh, root 3 as being a part of this. Okay, so that's our first step, is to state that we must also have 1 minus root 5 as a root, um, as well as the roots 3 and 1 plus root 5 that we had originally from the question. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to multiply all three of these roots together. So our function is going to look like this. f of x is equal to x minus 3, right? Because again, if we want 3 to be a root, x minus 3 has to be. Uh, part of this. And then we're going to have x minus our first root, which is 1 plus root 5. And then we're going to have x minus 1 minus root 5 for our other one. There we go. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually, I'm going to rearrange this a little bit to give us x minus 1 minus root 5. And also x minus 1 plus root 5 like that, just because that way it'll be a little bit easier for us to expand, right? We can treat this as we would, right, our difference of squares. So we're going to end up with x minus 3 times x minus 1 squared minus root 5 squared like that. We can ignore like the middle terms because those terms will just cancel each other out as in all difference of squares. Uh, then we're going to keep expanding here. So we're going to end up with x minus 3, when all this should be together still, uh, times, let's see, x squared minus 2x plus 1 minus... 5, like that. Uh, then I'm going to put this together here. So we're going to get x minus 3 times x squared minus 2x minus 4. And then I will expand that. So we're going to get x cubed. Yeah, x cubed minus 2x squared minus 4x minus 3x squared plus 6x plus 12, which is equal to x cubed minus 5x squared plus 2x plus 12, like that. And there we go. There we have it. So therefore, the polynomial with lowest possible degree that has the roots suggested above would be x cubed minus 5x squared plus 2x plus 12. Now, of course, there could be other roots. However, if we add even more roots, that implies that there's going to be a higher degree, and we want the one with the lowest possible degree. There also could be a separate a value, so it could really be any, um, any form of this where each number is multiplied by some constant. That would be fine as well. Um, but this is this is good. And that's also, I should mention, that's why it says give a polynomial, not give the polynomial, because I could multiply every term by 2, and we would get a different polynomial that still has that same degree, right? Or we could multiply by any constant for that matter. So that's why it says give a polynomial. I didn't choose any coefficient, you know, to, um, you know, or 
yeah, I didn't choose anything to multiply everything by other than just one, since that would be, um, you know, that would just be extra work for us. That's something we don't really need to do. All right, let's do example two. It says, give a polynomial with lowest possible degree with root two plus root three. So first things first, we need to uh, also state that two minus root three must be a root as well, based on our irrational conjugates theorem. And so therefore the roots are two plus root three and two minus root three. So that means our polynomial must take this form of x minus 2 minus root 3, like that, and then x uh, minus, sorry, x minus 2 plus root 3. And then same thing as before, I'm just going to rearrange this a little bit and go with uh, x minus 2 plus root 3. And over here, x minus 2 minus root 3. So then we're going to have x minus 2 squared minus root 3 squared, which is going to give us x squared minus 4x plus 4 minus 3, which is going to give us x squared minus 4x plus 1. And so there's our answer that to give a polynomial with the lowest possible degree with this root, it must also have this other root, 2 minus root 3. And so here's an example of a polynomial that fits that description. All right, well, as always, feel free to uh, put any questions you have in the comments below, and we'll see you for the next one.